Hi, I'm Colm. Welcome to Learn Somatics. Today I'm going to show you a nice easy way to free up both your shoulders at the same time to improve comfort of the arms and the neck and shoulders also. So, lay out on your back, knees bent, feet flat. So arrange your arms like so. First point them up in the air, then let one bend to hold onto the other elbow, and then bring the other one down onto the opposite elbow. So you're going to have your hands sort of locked together like this with your elbows pointing up to the ceiling. And from here, just let your arms, forearms go above your head to whatever degree is comfortable. You're just testing your range. See how far you can go and then bring them back. And just do that once or twice so you can get a clear picture of how easy it is to let the armpits open and the forearms go behind the head. And just get a sense of what sort of range you have. Okay. All right, and then come on back to start position. From here, I want you to bring your forearms down towards your trunk. And then actively press your forearms down into your trunk. You'll feel your upper body tighten, your armpits tighten. Give them a squeeze and then slowly relax. And then come back to the start position. So imagine you're just bringing those forearms down towards your body and then you're clamping down and then slowly releasing, coming back to the start position. And then one more time, forearms down, clamping them down onto your body. Feel how that creates quite a bit of tension. You're going the opposite direction to what we were testing and then slowly relaxing and coming back to the start position. And let's just test again. Let the arms go over the head and see if that hasn't increased your range a little bit already. And even if your range hasn't increased, see has your, is your range the same but feel easier. That's an improvement too. So you can just test again back and forth with the arms and shoulders. You can come all the way down, clamp down, squeeze, slowly release, and go all the way over. See if it feels a little easier each time. Come all the way back. Squeeze down, tighten your armpits when you're pressing your forearms down into your body. That'll help. And slowly relax the armpits as the arms go over the head again. And just see if you can tease out a little more range of motion each time by coming back, clamping down in the front, tightening the armpits, tightening the arms, and then slowly softening and going in the opposite direction again, back over the head. Okay, and back to the start position. So hopefully that's starting to give you a bit more range having pressing down like that. Now let's try something slightly different. Keeping your arms in this position, just send your both elbows, so send both arms and elbows as one piece over to one side, to the right like so, and then come back and go over to the left. And you'll feel how you get two slightly different movements happening in each shoulder as you go back and forth, but they're both happening at the same time. So we're keeping our head in the middle, we're keeping our trunk in the middle, we're just moving the arms left and right, like so. It's a nice interesting movement, gives some nice feedback into the shoulder blades, into the chest and into the shoulders. Go back and forth like this a few times. See how smooth you can make it from one side to the other and notice if it feels different either going left or going right. Okay, and then come on back. And again, just test the arms over the head, having gone left and right a bit. Has that improved the comfort or the range? Let's go back and forth with that once or twice, testing it out again. Okay. And we're not done yet, we're going to give one more slight variation. So again, we're going to go left and right with the elbows, but this time let's add a little movement of the head. So let your head go opposite your arms, like so. So as the two elbows go left, the head goes right. And as the two elbows go right, 
the head goes left. So now we're going to free up not just the shoulders and arms, but also into the neck as well. This actually feels quite pleasant to go back and forth like this. Elbows left, head to the right. Elbows right, head to the left. Okay, I'm back to the middle. And now last time, let's just retest this movement of the arms and shoulders. That's starting to feel nice and free and easy, open, almost at the table. And then I can come back easily one last time, squeeze in the front, even that feels easier. And then one last opening up of the arms and shoulders out to the back. Okay, I'm back to the start position. Now, lay out flat and see what you got. So having worked with the shoulders and the neck in that way, now that you're back laying out flat, that should feel quite a bit more comfortable through between the space between your shoulder blades, the backs of the shoulders, the arms, and even into your neck. Everything should feel nice and loose. So there's a nice simple way to free up your neck and shoulders. Give it a try and let me know how you get on. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if there's something you'd like me to address, pop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.